right guys welcome back I am gonna go again with the flower technique just putting my plastic sleeves on uh, but today I'm gonna to go with black and white with a silver center now a lovely lady on uh, my Facebook group Petra hey Petra I'm not sure how to pronounce your surname I'll give it a go is it um, Gerbrack? Gerbrack. I don't know. But hi, Petra. Anyway, the two of us have been um, practicing our 3D flowers because we're both new at it. So we've been sort of throwing ideas around and practicing. And so, yeah, it's lovely to have other people joining in. Now, I've made up my resin and I'm going to put 20 grams in the cup that's going to have the white resin in it oops we've got 22 let me just go back a little bit so 20 in that one 21 that'll be all right and 20 in the cup that's going to have the black in it so Petra did the black and white yesterday I wanted to do it as well but she beat me to it I couldn't pour yesterday I was too busy and um, I'm still waiting to see what hers looks like turned out because she only showed the front on the um on the Facebook group so I'm sure it'll look just gorgeous now I can move the scale out of the way 20 grams is 0.7 of an ounce this one here is just going to be a little bit for my silver glitter this is a chunky glitter love it so, a bit upset that the little jars are so small but never mind it was a, a set I think they've got like eight colors in a set now I just need a little bit of resin in that just to make a paste. Not much at all. And the rest of it's going to go in here in my coaster. This is a 14 centimetre coaster. Uh, not sure that is in inches. Just divide 14 by 2.5. <laughs> It'll give you the, um, the inches. Might be around 6 inches. Mm, no, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Right, so this is the Barnes Clarity that I'm using because I've still got some. And I'm going to just wipe my stick off because I can keep my stick again. And I'm just going to quickly wipe this container out with some paper towel because then I can use my container again, you see. People always say to me, what do you clean your container with? I just wipe it with paper towel. And then it's ready to go tomorrow when I want to use it again. Let me just throw this out. Try and keep clean up to a minimum. Wipe my hands with my baby wipe. Get the resin off. Okay. Make sure you don't touch your face with your resiny gloves on. Right. So that's my centre. For my centre. Right. Let's get to this. My resin has been sitting for 25 minutes and then I started the video so I'm using the white cast and craft and I'm going to do three drops just a little squeeze until you get a blob out one it has a train behind it little trace two three so just a little squeeze to get a blob out and then the rest will run out so white craft cast and craft I got it from eBay and then I don't know what the ink does, but look, I, I've had good results with it. White alcohol ink with the white paste. <clears throat> black alcohol ink with black paste. I've got over here, sitting over there, ready to go, all my purples. So that's coming up in the next video. I'm going to do purple. So that's that one. Now I'm going to do the same <clears throat> with the black. I've got this Lorez Expressions black paste now I don't know how much three drops is going to be because I can't drop it in so let's just um, I don't know does that look like three drops probably just on the end of a little stick we'll do that and then <clears throat> one drop of the black alcohol ink try and get a riddle on I don't want to, the paint well the paint the resin to set up too fast Give that a stir up. 
So I'm going to put these two into piping bags. Resin is starting to go a bit warm in my hand. Even though I mixed it up in a wide container, it still went a bit warm. So maybe next time... Oh, it seems to be all right. Look, why change something that's not broken, hey? Just keep it going. It's not like it's set. It's just warming. Because I thought maybe I should mix it and then pour it straight into my coaster and straight into these cups maybe it won't warm so much because you know a larger amount warms or sets quicker so if you sort of divide it out into its smaller cups maybe it won't set up so fast I don't know <clears throat> but then because it's not setting up fast maybe I won't get the same result so I'm just going to stick to what I know what works for me so far anyway why change it if it's not broken hey now I've got my two cups Got my little piping bag, a bit noisy, sorry. Put that in, fold the top over. I've only got black on my gloves. I can go get that off. Right, push down and we'll pour the black into that one. So I've just got the one drop of alcohol ink in there. I find that if I put too much alcohol ink, I get a very sort of um, wispy petal look, which is really pretty too. Um, my, some of my previous ones have been quite wispy. And I'm just going to wipe my stick again so I can reuse that stick, reuse everything. All right, there's my other one. There it is. So black and white petals with a silver center. And then what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do is, before I turn it out, I'll let the resin set up for maybe four hours. And then I'm going to pour another layer over the top. I'm probably going to do like a, probably a silver, just a silver sparkly resin. And I'm going to do that over the top. So there'll be actually two layers. But I'll show you when I do that. We'll let this go hard and then I'll pour the other one on and then tomorrow we'll unmold them and they'll be stuck together. So we'll have a petals on one side with the, um, the shape, you know, the flower shape with the petals on one side. And then on the other side we'll have um, glitter. Because these petals are quite see-through, you'll we'll be able to see the, um, the glitter through parts of it. Well, I'm hoping that anyway. So... That's what the plan today is. Experimenting, get the air out, push it down, give it a twist. I can just sit there at the moment. I'm just sitting it on some paper towel to save on cleanup. There's my black. I haven't done a black and white one before. I'm excited. I am. All right, you can just sit there for a minute while I do my my center I'm trying to work out where my center is wait move over don't want too much I don't like it when the center takes over I mean I like a little bit of it but not too too much I think the size of a 10 cent piece Australian 10 cent piece <laughs> I don't know what size that is overseas see how it's starting to thicken it just sort of plops down there. That's kind of how you want it when you start your, your petals. I guess I could have had a little bit more silver, but I'm going to give this a bit of a, a swirl now. Mix it in a bit. Make it kind of a, a circular pattern. All right, so that's spreading a bit now. So that's looking good so it's the bottom when we turn this over the bottom of this is going to be the front so we want it to look nice and circular let me clean that stick off all right radio here we go so i'm going to do white petals out towards the edge and then in the center i'm going to do smaller in the black that's the plan tuck that in actually i should start over here because i'm i'm right-handed i need to snip now when you buy these little piping bags from eBay, they 
They come in a packet of 100. They're pretty cheap, I reckon. Better than, um, well, better than using snap block bags. Now start with a little, cut off a little bit first. There's the end of the white there to the end of that. That's probably about a centimetre. I'm going to just snip off a third of it to begin with and see how much comes out. Not much at all. Squish it again. Cut a little bit more off. It's probably about a four millimeter opening. Just have a little practice. Make sure you've got enough coming out. Not too much. Not too little. Just just takes a little bit of practice. Make sure that one's coming out about the same. No, my white's a bit thinner. I'm just going to take a little bit more off the white. I don't, know. I don't know if you can see that, how much that's coming out. All right, now I'm just going to wipe my scissors real quick, otherwise my scissors will stick together forever because they've got resin on them. Again, clean up as you go. It makes things much easier. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Tuck that in. Now, nice fluid actions. I sort of squeeze the end of the bag there as I go. Trying to remember to breathe. Breathe, Julie, breathe. Oh, they're looking a little bit on the thick side, but hopefully they'll still be okay. There we go. Now take them up as close to your edge as you can. Now with the black. Oh, I've got way too much black. Wish I had more resin because maybe I should do two at a time, make up the same amount of white and black. Um, I'm just going to go on the inside of these ones. There we go. We're done. Well, this one could be a little bit thicker. Okay, now heat them quickly. Hopefully they're not setting up. Whoops, too fast. Got my heat gun on low. Just going to heat around the edges first. So it's not moving too, too much. And I'm just going to push in gently from the outside and just get that. See how the petals are starting to thicken up already? I'm just pushing in from the outside. And I'll do the same with the, the black. It's got to be careful though because I'm heating it up. I don't want to move it too much. All right, that'll do. I don't want to heat it too, too much. It's starting to, to thicken. The black paste, um, I'm not sure, you know, if, if it's going to work the same as the white paste. Maybe I've put too much in, I, I don't know. Now, I'm going to hit it with my little butane torch but there's a hair get out of my resin oh, don't break my patterns now maybe I'll just have to leave it I don't want to destroy my pattern I'll just leave it all right I'm just gonna heat that give it a quick torch popping any bubbles There's another hair in there. Oh, why? Why the hairs? Well, not a hair. It's just a bit of fluff, really. See, now I'm destroying my petal. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, let me take you down for a close-up and I'll show you what it's doing already. I if I can leave my glove on. Maybe. I'll see if I can leave my glove on. Round we go. Now, oh yeah, that worked. See that little bit of heat that I put on the edges is just enough to start widening the petals. See how they're starting to widen? The black, hang on, the black's doing something weird there. Hang on, I'm gonna have to fix this, uh, that little bit just there.
just put a tiny bit more on there hopefully it'll still work don't know what happened look at the um the silver glitter it's picking up all kinds of colors from all the way around it hopefully that hopefully that petal will work hmm don't know it's not doing as well as the other petals let's go around here So I will come back to you in about half an hour. We seem to get the most change in the first half hour. It doesn't really change much after that. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if we keep those empty loops with the petals or whether they'll fill in. Not sure yet. See if the white, there's an emptiness in there, a little void, which will be really pretty if it stays like that. And then I um, put a layer of glitter over the top of this when you're looking at it from the other side you'll be able to see the glitter through those openings but I don't know if they'll stay like that we'll see all right I'll be back in half an hour don't go anyway right oh it has been half an hour let's have a little look see what's happening oh my spaces have closed in <laughs> now I said we were might get some little spaces, be able to see through on the other side. That hasn't happened. Isn't it weird how resin does that? Like it all wants to pull in from the outside into the center. So those petals have actually filled in now. I can see the black through the back. So I guess some has dropped through. Still got some sitting on the top, but then you can see the blacks down underneath that white. So hopefully it's worked. Like it doesn't look too blobby. It kind of looks as if it's feathered out underneath. But we won't know until tomorrow. It's so exciting. I'm going to still do the, the silver just because I want to, just to try it over the top of this once it's had a chance to sort of set up a bit so in a few hours i'll come back and uh, we'll mix up some silver pour it over the top <laughs> hopefully it won't ruin it see the only problem with doing that is if i don't like the back and i prefer the front which is what you can see now it'll be covered in silver and you won't see it so it's a big risk i <laughs> but look i'm just gonna go for it hey you don't learn anything unless you try all right, I'll see you for the next stage soon. Hey guys, I'm back. Now, I'll just take my glove off. Um, it's only been, oh, I don't know, maybe four hours. It's the same day. This particular resin sets up pretty hard, pretty quick. Um, I'm going to turn it out and then I'm going to decide which side I like better and put silver glitter on the other side. Okay. So I won't touch the top or the bottom because it's still not cured. Oh, look, you can see through. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks kind of spidery, doesn't it? I do like that sparkly center. Um, I think I prefer the front. It's got more black in it, and see the see the intestine looking things from those are from where I overlapped my white, and then I overlapped the black. So I mean I like the black petals poking through, but I think I prefer that as the front. Do you agree? I wish I knew which side you preferred. Mm. I wonder if I can get it back in the in the coaster. See, I was going to put it on that and um, do it, but I wonder if I can actually get it to sit back in. It'll probably leak a little bit, won't it? Let's push it all the way down. I've never done this before. It probably will leak, but hey, it, it won't matter. Push it all the way down. I don't know. I hope I hope I'm picking the right side. Well, I personally prefer the other side without the, the blobby bits. 
looks like something out of um, oh, Stranger Things. <laughs> you know, those weird creatures, except not in white. Right, um, now I'm going to use some silver. This is from Lorez and it's called Silver Spark. And because the black's in there, I thought I might want to make the background a little bit darker, not sure. So I've got this um, silver from Perlex. I may add some of that, not sure. Now the top coat I've got mixed up is um, my new one that I'm trying, Delcam Crystal Clear. Delcam? Delcam, I don't know. So let's put in a little bit of the silver. Oh, it's so light, this stuff, it flies away. So this is going to give us a lovely little sparkle. But it might not be quite dark enough for what I'm after. I want sort of a, a dark background that's going to offset the white petals. That's what I'm hoping for. So nothing too, too pale. Let's go with some more sparkle. And then I will add just a touch of that. Pearl X just to darken it a bit. Because I mean it's still transparent but it's sparkly. I don't know whether it'll seep down through the edges of the silicone. It, it might do a little bit. I don't know. I've never flipped it upside down before and used the other side. Let's just try. We'll do it ever so slowly, just a tiny bit at a time just to build up some colour. And I've got 20 grams, It's uh, the Delcam is um, a one-to-one, -one, so 20 grams of one, and I did 22 of the other one. The other one's um, always heavier, It's th it, well, I was going to say it's thicker, but it's not a lot thicker actually. Oh look, now we're starting to get some silver coming through. That's better. You can still see the stick. I don't really want to see the stick. I might go just a touch more. So just, you know, add slowly if you do want to do a background. I think that'll do. So yeah, 20, basically 40 grams, <clears throat> just over an ounce. And um, I'll just pour this over the top. Look at that. That should just add a lovely glimmer and it's not as dark as the black in the center so we'll have three different shades we'll have the white petals we'll have the silver and then we'll have the black oh, and then we've got the silver sparkle as, as well there's not much silver sparkle on the other side I mean if I wanted to I could do um, a clear coat on that one on the other side and add some more glitter so that's a possibility right right are you sure we're doing the right side Positive? Yeah, all right, let's go for it. I can always do another one. Bye bye, beautiful Paul. I'm not gonna scrape this again. I mean, I know I was scraping when I was mixing resin, but I'm not gonna scrape it again, just because it's got wax on the inside. Wipe off my little stick so I can use him again. Looks as if we're heading down that way. <clears throat> heading south. I might just put a little stick under there. Okay, um, let's just move this around a little bit to coat everything. And I don't know if it's running over the edges or not, or whether the silicon mold is keeping it on top. I have no idea, but I will find out whether or not that's actually actually works or not. I wish I knew if I was straight. It looks straight. Okay, let's torch. Now this Delcom uh, resin. 
it's uh, heat resistant to 80 degrees Celsius so if I did want to make this coaster heat resistant when I flip it over and do a top coat um, I could do the Delcom again um, and it's it's a really really hard surface um, and heat resistant so I'm just going to wait a little while until those bubbles they, they tend to sort of come into the middle with resin everything pulls into the middle that's where you get those beautiful striations and also why you get the petals because everything's moving to the center and the bubbles tend to um, congregate there in the center as well so I'll give it a few minutes and I'll torch it but for you I will see you tomorrow there's no point taking you down for a close-up there's nothing to see all right I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> sleep tight good morning it's the next day look how the silver has dried so so far I'm happy with this Delcam it's uh, dried overnight so some of the other brands are still like really soft and bendy the next day so and I don't like that but I do like this keen to see what's gonna look like on the other side and cross fingers that I've chosen the right side to cover up <laughs> all right let's do this just ease that away Hopefully it won't stick. Oh, I'm keen to see it. Alrighty. Let's, let's peel and reveal, hey? Look at that. You can see the little petals. Peel and reveal. Something new. A peel and reveal. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, can you see what I mean about just having that little bit of background? It, it defines the white petals, doesn't it? It's not too dark. We have a lovely contrast of uh, the silver, the white, and then the black. So as I said in the previous video, I could, if I wanted to, put a little bit more silver in the middle and another flood coat because we have got a tiny little lip there. So doing a little flood coat could help but look I'm just you know this is experimenting I'm not um, I'm not trying to sell these or anything I'm just experimenting so I probably won't I'll just leave it and I'll move on to the next coaster so I love it you know you don't have to always think that the back is going to be the best or the side that you want to use it's totally up to you which side you prefer so what do you think let me grab the other ones that I've just done recently so there they are those are the the few that I've done recently that worked uh, I have done more they didn't all work so look if you're trying these and you know yours don't work don't be put off I've done many that don't work and I've put them straight in the bin thrown them in the trash this one it's okay like I don't love it and you know we've got the blobbies on the back but so that's the front and it's just a little delicate one this one I love that was my first one that I got right it's the front that's the back um, and then yeah today's one so there you go keep trying um, as I said some sometimes mine are right and sometimes they're wrong actually we should check it out and see what's happened to that edge hey because you know how I wasn't sure whether or not it was going to go over the side oops I think it's okay I don't think it actually went over the side I know it's a bit hard to pick up it wants to focus on the back but I don't think it did so that worked you could flip it over and use the use the mold to do your, your back coat on so there you go yep so don't give up you'll just have to keep um, practicing with the consistency of your brand of resin like how long to let it set up some of mine are let set up um, way too long and uh, if you leave them set up too long the um, petals don't move they just stays in the line that you've made so that means it's too thick 
Um, others, when you blow them, they just blow away too much. It's too thin and the uh, resin just kind of falls straight through to the back and you get lots of blobs. So it's just a, a fine line how long to leave it. Make sure that you're writing everything down, how long you leave each one. And I give them a score out of 10. So this this was a 10. <laughs> this was a 10. Um, and some of my others that I've thrown away, like they got twos or threes because they just did not work. And then I can go back and I can have a look and, um, and see, uh, you know, how they're going and what I did right and what I did wrong. Anyway, enough of me. Um, hope you enjoyed this, this guy. I really like him. And um, I'll, I'll do some more with the backgrounds the different colors all right thanks for watching you guys stay safe have a great day bye for now